नमस्ते uh, मेरा नाम है साइरस बरोचा एंड आई होप यू स्टार्टेड ऑन टाइम वी ऑल हैव डिफरेंट क्लॉक्स इन साउथ मुंबई इट इज एग्जैक्टली 10 बट आई नो इन पवाई इज 55 एंड वालकेश फॉर 52 एंड आई डोंट नो व्हेयर द हेल काजल सिनेमासन इज जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम बट बट शी इज ऑन म्यूट सो इट वुड मेक एनी डिफरेंस बट आई वांट टू क्विकली डू माय रैंट व्हाइल वी फिगर आउट काजल स्पीच इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ 10% वुमेन रिजर्वेशन इज ऑन द शो एंड एट ऑल पॉइंट्स देयर विल बी 10% रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो आई एम जस्ट अशोरिंग एवरीबॉडी अबाउट दैट I myself am 10% woman, going to 20. Uh, to give one a point out, I had a horrible experience early morning. Um, uh, Amit is saying something. Amit, are you no, saying not, something? No, no, sorry, not to you. Okay, because you please experience. continue. Please, you please know, continue. The horrible experience has to be told. Someone has <laughs> to tell it. I will tell it. So I went to the canteen here in CNBC where I work as a peon, <laughs> and I ate the what they call a masala dosa, which has a little potato in it and uh, I don't know paper on top. which they think is uh, edible however during the course of that meal my partner matosh he burped right in my face this is not a covid issue i am as you know not very pro the over behavior and covid co- action to be taken for covid i am in fact just upset the, at the lack of manners now he argued with me and said that in arab culture this is uh, something that you have to do so it should be allowed so i want to put it out there to burp or not to burp is it a sign of enjoying the meal and you should be allowed to do that to show appreciation or is it a obnoxious ugly thing that only a kunal vijaykar like person would do and amatosh and then act like uh, very defensive about it and say fine uh, what's wrong with it arabs uh, do this and this is the right thing to do after a meal kajol i point a finger at you uh, for no reason just trying to irritate you <laughs> 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 welcome to the show welcome to the show um, this is cock and bull we have, we have done this for a long time because i've been running around pretending to work this will not happen again we will honor our days so what do you think about burping before we start our real show It makes sense if you've made the masala dosa. If you haven't, then they're just in the wrong. But if a man was or a woman was to burp right next to you, uh, would you take offense or would you be okay with it? I mean, like, if, you're the, if, if you're the chef, then you're probably okay with it. Then it's, it's appreciation. Why would you be the chef? Why would I be eating with the chef? Or oh, you mean in a, in a home where someone's cooked? Okay, Obviously. fair enough. Huh. Sorry, Kajal, you're dealing with a very slow man. It takes me time to understand. Let's let's throw it open to Silvery. The, yeah, the pride I, of boy. Yeah, I uh, have to admit I burp really loudly in public quite often uh, after a good meal. <laughs> It's just what it is. <laughs> It's just what it is. How how do you stop yourself from burping after a good heavy meal? This is and nobody yeah, says anything. Nobody says anything, man. I mean, so what? They're never gonna see me again. I'm not gonna meet these guys again. Who are you eat with people only restaurant. once? What are you, the mafia? Oh, okay, like that. <laughs> I thought we were going to go to the restaurant. This <laughs> sounds like provocative in the old days. What yeah, I mean, my friends understand. My friends understand. They're like, yeah, we girls? are also got a burp. Okay, okay. It's fine. Silvi, what about girls? Oh, okay. How do girls respond to your burping? Ah, uh, yeah. Then I try to control myself, like you know, like hide my mouth, excuse myself, you know, all that stuff. But uh, normally, I don't eat with girls. You leave the table on your date. You leave the date. You go in the room for a quick burp and come back. Oh man, <laughs> Amit, are you a burper? Uh, not uh in public, loud unless it's like you know a contest or something like that. I'll do the burping contest <laughs> with friends, but not like you know, not like he's a, a mature one. Burping. He's supposed to be the mature one of the show. Put that eleven-year-old birthday party so the boys just sit together and burp out burp. You all. you've never done like post beer drinking burping? Yeah, but not in the last twenty years. Back in the day, maybe. <laughs> Has Amit frozen, or have I frozen? No, Amit just froze. Yeah, Amit froze because because he uh, after burping he needs a little time to you know get his thoughts to together. So we'll, give, we'll give him that time to recuperate. But the, the, <laughs> so what you all are saying is you've all defended in a way Mathosh, the evil man who burped in my yeah. face early morning and upset me tremendously. And then talk, <laughs> talk about Arab culture. Suddenly when you want to have the devil side scriptures for his purposes, Arab culture, which of course they have no time for otherwise. Suddenly Arab culture, yes, it's done, and we must follow it. Hypocrites, uh, Kajal. Uh, Amit is back, I think. Amit, can you move if you're alive? Actually, Amit, at any point, doesn't move a lot. You know, it's probably not the best way to find out <laughs> scientifically if Amit is okay. <laughs> not to make a quick reference to the turtle or the tortoise, but you know, they're not known for their activity. Uh, all right. Yeah. So while we figure out what's wrong with Amit and how to bring him back, we'll carry on with the show because people, yep. at least seven to eight people, have joined us live, Kajal. And that's no mean feat. Um, by the way. Uh, Yeah, he's back. Yeah. He's back. Cyrus, I'm back. Yeah, you go Sorry, ahead. Sorry, what happened there? Yeah, 
you miss yeah, nothing uh, uh, a few uh, kind words about you said by celebrity about and my mention of some analogy about a turtle and this and that and you know what you really talk about <laughs> let it go my good brother burp in peace i can't believe it even at age 40 what 5 amit 47 47 you still go around burping after drinking beer calling the pals to one corner of the room and saying let's well, have I a mean, burp okay maybe, maybe not at 47 but i definitely did it at 45 <laughs> for the last year i've been at home right so yeah. it's not really been that uh, yeah. but before yeah, that yeah definitely can i just paint a scene there you know they're discussing nuclear proliferation or you know <laughs> a communal riot so the a huge glacier killing 4000 people and then suddenly they're like okay let's take a segue here let's go to the corner let's have a burp contest i don't know you <laughs> you over you overestimate the conversations i have with my burping friends <laughs> So you so what you're saying is that is an infantile thing done with infantile minds. Yes. So you, there's a certain type of friend you see them it's a burping contest. Yeah, it's a everyone. burping contest. Exactly. Exactly. We have a class That's hierarchy hard. even here. Excellent. I never know. thought I'd be on a podcast with guys discussing a burping contest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't I think Silvery will also agree uh, generation the part as we are. We've all had this kind of male behavior. I don't know if females do it, but males definitely. And yeah, yeah, it was a big deal about burping the letters and burping out loud and burping out a song and all. Yeah. Listen, yeah. girls don't give us attention. What the hell do we do? <laughs> burping we do. out a song. He yeah, us a- I had a pal yeah. who used to used to guess the song. We, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. Uh, a B C D E F G yeah, like that, uh, doing the whole album. Yeah. That, that was the yeah, thing. Yeah. You, uh, how far in the alphabet did you get on a single burp? That, that, that that was the thing. You know, yeah. interesting. When, when this is what literacy talk, is all about, Kajal. <laughs> no, it's not. When no, women talk among themselves, <laughs> when women talk among themselves, they're like, you know, oh my God, is he interested in me? What is he thinking of now? And this is burping. what men, yeah, they're burping at each other. <laughs> And by the way, yeah. Alpha is the one who burps the most. So the guy who's the worst behaved is actually the glorified one. That's the irony of the whole thing. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Uh, let's leave books behind and move on to interesting topics yes. that Silvery has lined up. It will involve Kajal's yes. very strong opinions, and then Amit will fight himself, and I'll scrap. Yeah. So, let's go. Yeah. So this is our first cock and bull, as you said, in like two weeks. So we have like a few huh? topics that we didn't couldn't get to in the last two weeks. Uh, number one is the the big Meghan Markle and uh, Harry uh, Prince Harry interview with uh, Oprah. I don't know if all of you saw it. Did all of you see it? No, I value my brain time. I might do burping contest, but I value my brain. Oh, you didn't bother. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I agree with him. There's there's infantile and there's just stupid and waste of time. But my mother was watching it live and uh, told me, "Come and watch with me." A 49 year old man, and his mother watching the interview. But I was like, I watched five minutes and sorry guys, but I just could not watch the whole thing. He's a royalist. Yeah. My daughter watched the whole thing. She's all into this whole British monarchy thing. But I couldn't take it after four minutes. You know? For me, it was as bad as watching a snooker tournament. You know, just went on with like I don't know. I actually do. I enjoy snooker. Snooker is fun. Uh, no, what There's I mean is I'm strategy. a little hyper and I, I can't take anything slow. You know, it just yeah. like I, I, uh, they invented uh, you know the, all those things in Disneyland are for people like me. You know, so let me really get scared. But yeah, coming back. Yeah. Sorry, Kajal. I'm sure you've got yeah. a different take on this altogether because yeah. there's a scene. I watch all the episodes of The Crown, so yeah, I, <laughs> I'm I'm very curious. So I didn't see the entire episode, but I've seen snippets of it. Yeah, I and saw what? multiple breakdowns of snippets of uh, the interview. Also, hey, so the top ten takeaways and all that stuff. Can I ask a question? A bit. I watched. They yeah, were yeah. walking in a garden, uh, pointing at well, cocks and bulls and things like that. And I just, you know, they were discussing poultry. So I, it. it It was a very odd uh, conversation between a lady who is quite large and shouldn't be in a farm. Uh, I won't take names, and the other one looked like she's never worked in her life, to be honest. So, uh, but that's just my humble opinion. Uh, it, it was. I mean, like, did I? I, I, I don't understand the fascination with this, right? I mean, like, we are so fascinated with these morons. I mean, like, seriously, they're a bunch of morons. Inbred fools. Oh! Yeah, no, I have zero. I have zero interest uh, in like the royal. Just parties to note, he's talking about the royal family. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but there the, were basically. It... Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's just like, why are we? Uh, why do people care about these people, right? I mean, like, uh, it, it's just, it's just the most moronic thing, and I, I, I've never understood this. Like, I, why does anybody give a rat's ass about what? This family, which has basically destroyed the world for like a thousand, a hundred, five five hundred years or whatever, and ironically, like, out of German we... descent. <laughs> yeah, no French descent, no. And German, German. very strong. strong German. And German, yeah, it's French. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. I, I just, I never understood it. 
It's yeah, but I mean, come on now. Let's not be such a holy than thou types. There are some people who enjoy this. So from a gossip point of view, salacious or whatever, they do enjoy it. And secondly, there is still an amount of the whole racism angle and all is quite interesting. The fact that, you know, yeah. they would make, uh, which reminds me of an Indian house, you know, when the when the daughter-in-law is not fair, the kind of comments that are passed. Uh, I mean, I, I can tell you from when I got married, a couple of Parsi uh, so you know, members of the of community saying no. that my son is, thank God, he's not, gone on our side and is fair and this and that, oh, yeah, yeah. and not my wife. So, I mean, I, it's I, the same thing going on. I, I think all Indian families face that to an extent, right? One of the coolest tweets I saw about this whole thing, though, was uh, the British royal family, right? This is a family that funded slavery. This is a family that subjugated <laughs> India for 300 years. But it took Meghan Markle complaining to Oprah for us to figure out that there are a bunch of racists. I mean, like, you know, it, it really, it, 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 it's yeah. really... Uh, so I feel I, I, Megan is too white to represent, you know, the pain of a colored <laughs> person. I, I think, you know, to get, get the right person to play the part. I just feel that she looks so white to me. I'm, I'm, I, if I didn't know that she was, you know, the father was African-American, I wouldn't know. She just probably looks, looks like, a, like a Lebanese. Too close to coloring is what you mean. I don't know who's coloring, but it, the, the, I don't get the races because I think back home, back here, she'd be fated as a wheat complexion, you know, <laughs> the usual. Indian, yeah. basically. Yeah. 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 Wheat <laughs> complexion anyway. Who came up with wheat complexion? So, it's like, it's not fair to me. Eh? So can I introduce some, some fact? Yeah. So, so one of the, the... Sorry, sorry. Please go ahead. Hmm. Please go ahead. Sorry. So it's not the first time that the royal family has had people of color uh, roaming around the Buckingham Palace, okay? During our independence struggle, they actually, uh, Queen Victoria adopted uh, the Princess of Kurs and Dudit Singh and a lot of our royals as wards. And that famous wanted... affair that she may or may not have had with the Indian guy. No. no. <laughs> yeah. I have not heard of this angle. These were kids. Oh, you're talking is... about that movie. Sorry, sorry Kajal. That, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Victorian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Victorian okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, no, not that. But my point is that uh, they've always wanted the world and the colonies to know that they are not racist and that they have adopted Indian wards and, you know, for Africans and all of that. So uh, they've tried to play this angle as well. Yeah, I think it's an individual thing all said and done. I don't think every member of the royal family is, you know, out and out racist. But there oh, are yeah. those that are. And those sure that are. are. No, no, I'm sure they are. I they're, they're, they're I know, I know. You know, to be a racist also takes a little bit of, uh, you know, you just can't just be a racist. You've got to be a bit of a, you know, it doesn't come that easy to have those kind of strong, hateful opinions. I've tried it. I've said, look, I look at a guy and think, why don't I hate him enough? But, you know, it doesn't happen sometimes. I'm not saying a mother Teresa, but it's just a type of person who has a lot of viciousness in them. It's not everyone. Uh, and, and besides, if you make a comment about someone's ethnicity, it doesn't make you racist in that sense. I mean, growing up, all we did is make fun of the communities around us. At least I did. And people in my area did, like, you know, Parsi, Gujarati, Sindhi, yeah. Punjabi, all this. But it's all good natured, rib tickling fun. Nobody really actually believes that, you know, all Marwaris are going to kill you. So, you know, so stay away. From a perspective, um, the, the, it, when I was growing up, it was quite okay to forward jokes about your wife and, you know, women driving, which would be considered wife, very sexist. <laughs> not your wife. Anyone's I give, wife. I give you my thumbs up. Uh, all right. All good. <laughs> <laughs> These jokes we consider very sexist today. So uh, it, yeah. it's a time-driven thing. I am not for complete political correctness, but I do know that jokes are a, a mechanism to to put people down. You know, that has been done. I think it's just the intent. Honestly, if the intent is to do that, and that's what you want to do. Otherwise, it's just a joke. It's like John Lennon said sometimes, it's just a song. If other people want to find layers in it and uh, trace it to acid and this and that is their problem. I just wrote a song. That's all it is. <laughs> Uh, dude, he said that about no. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and I'm sorry, but that song is about acid. It might be. There's no way it's not about acid. Then I, didn't, I just want to say to the people of today that it's probably just a song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zimri, do yours. You do, you do a Scottish one. You seem better than Lilliputian. Lil- Lil- uh, yep. Uh, we are, welcome to Cock and Bull, mate. <laughs> uh, another episode of Cyrus says... Okay, about yeah, the royal go, go family. On, on. <laughs> yeah, about the royal family. You know, the funniest thing I uh, I, I watched about this uh, whole Oprah and uh, Meghan Markle and uh, Harry interview thing was John Oliver, comedian John Oliver, uh, talked about how the only person who's happy about this whole thing is Prince, and- Prince Andrew. Because he's like, okay, finally people will stop talking about me and Epstein. <laughs> and then move on to this. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, but did you see the clip of John Oliver from a couple of years ago where he said that this woman is going to, like, you know, she should call it off because she's going to be miserable over there. Uh, from a couple of years ago, he was he, he said that called it, he's, he called it out. He's like, she's going to want to kill herself if she becomes a part of the royal said, family. Don't marry into that family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah he's, he's even more anti-royal than I am, because which is understandable because he actually has to deal with them as a British guy, right? Oh, but hey, if you look at the British people, uh, population, they're quite divided. There are plenty of royalists as well. Huh? Seriously. You can't make fun of the king and queen. They get rid of Well, yeah, but then respect. again, I mean, like, you know, there are plenty of nationalists everywhere, right? Well, if that's the word you want to use, I was doing the word that royalist. That is the word I'm... No, no, but I would use the word national. Well, I, that, I think that I, I think the two, two the two conflate, right? Because see, what it comes down to is: do you believe in privilege of birth, or do you believe in, uh, or, or do you not believe in privilege of birth, right? Divine authority and, isn't that also the theory of God anyway? Well, so I, God, I, it is. So then we should remove God as well, not just the monarchy, because that's a representation of God. Because in a sense, we just blindly follow. Uh, sign me up for that, but <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to be able to uh, affect that though. particular change. The reason to talk like that, well, leave the religion out of it. Because, uh, when we, uh, so re- sorry, uh, let's get back to the yeah. show. Yeah, okay, Kajal, so we please. To the next topic. You you have to be the last word. By the way, you you didn't turn up on the whole Women's Day week for us. We oh. only know between us three women, and my mom and his mom said no. And you don't turn up. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what are you drinking, yep. Amit? Uh, coffee. Look. Ah, uh, it looked like alcohol. Can you show the glass? Uh, coffee. Uh, it's, in a, it's in a glass. Glass. It, it, it's iced coffee. It's cold. It, it's cold black coffee. But silvery. Why is it in a glass? Most because it's cold. Uh, well, I mean, like you add I mean, a little sweetener to it, but it's cold brew. It's uh, these people are. I'm hoping but, to get them. But to coming us, back, so I won't to talk Megan, about them until they sponsor us. But yes, yeah, coming back to Megan though, it's black okay. coffee. Just clear. It is. It is cold right. brew black coffee. You know, uh, during yeah. lockdown, I've been invited to a lot of uh, events online internationally to represent women of color. Okay. And uh, I, I always start by telling them, yeah, we're women of color, but in India, we regard them as a temporary condition. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really, we're not really bought into it. Okay, can I say honestly, I like all women. I hope it don't sound like a creepy uncle. I have never disliked a woman because of color. Never. It's never been a problem with me at all. All types. In fact, I would say that I'm possibly someone who should be neutered. Uh, because I honestly like almost all women. It's, uh, physically, I, I I don't get turned off a lot. Of course, right. they don't get turned on at all. So we have a problem. But said that. <laughs> what about you? Are you uh, would you ever get turned off a woman because of a color? No, I don't. You hesitated, I, you bastard. I really don't know. No, you hesitated. I didn't. No, uh, no, I'm not. Talking. Not at all. You're a racist. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> like, uh, you're a maybe. You're I'm not sure. <laughs> you're a royal, royalist complete. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had actually. I was the one who had asked Harry about the color of the baby. <laughs> I was like, oh, it might be a problem, you know. Just be careful. No, that was. Awesome. Okay, can, can I ask baby. this? Why is Harry so sympathetic? Isn't he a twit too? I mean, like, isn't he just an absolute moron in this kind of whole situation? Everybody's so sympathetic towards this guy, who's like, oh, yeah. my family isn't giving me money. You know, I mean, I mean, like, why, why, yeah, why, that's why, true. why? I mean, like, it's just like I don't understand why yeah. he, people are so sympathetic towards him. Oh, my wife might have to work because I'm not going to get a couple of hundred million dollars a year from my family. What the hell? Yeah, this is the same problem Siddharth Malia went through. Yep. Really? <laughs> yeah, things started to fall. Imagine poor guy he relocated to be an actor for four years, and suddenly he really has to act. You know, I mean, it was all fine the first four years. And suddenly, like, he has to actually get the audition now. Oh, poor guy. Kajal, yeah. you were saying something about women of color and we just cut you off. No, no, I was just generally saying that Indians don't regard Oof. themselves as Does it work? Well. Does it work the other way? Do you get turned off men of different colors and all that? I mean, Certainly not. It's my what dream you... to go to Africa. and Okay, yeah, cool. But no. okay, don't do porn. <laughs> no, no porn here. That's a non-porn channel. But I want to ask you one thing. I find, I find dark here. skin very, very attractive. Okay, okay. One second, one second. I want to ask you something here because the hypocrisy. Okay, so you and I, we don't have a color problem. But no. what about uh, fat or something, or like old or hairy? I mean, that's also in a way that's a prejudice, right? I, I, I generally attract to people's personalities. So um, that's yeah. what all the women say, and I never get laid. So don't <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you're worse in the royal family. You're just a whole bunch of hypocrites. We like funny men. We like naughty men. We like bad men, bad men, bad men. Why am I alone every day? Why, why, why? <laughs> yeah, not that funny, but come on, for God's sake, Silvery. What is this nonsense here? You're the guy who gets the girl. He's always the guy with the fancy car. It's not fair. I believe it's all money. Yeah. 
Uh, shall we move on before we get letters? You bastard! Yes. How dare you say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Another story that we should cover from the last few weeks, which is still going on, is the Bangalore uh, Zomato customer oh. versus the what Zomato delivery yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, so what what basically happened is uh, this video got posted online by yeah. this woman called Hitesha Chandra. She's a she's an Instagram influencer, and yeah. uh, she posted a video saying with a with a bloody nose. Uh, saying ki i just got assaulted by my zomato delivery guy because the delivery was late and while i was complaining to the uh, zomato customer care he assaulted me saying ki don't uh, don't tell the customer care and so he assaulted and, and you can refer to sagarika uh, ghosh's interview which was yesterday where she answers the same question yeah correct on a show called yeah. cyrus says with cyrus uh, <laughs> yeah actually yeah. sagarika sagarika said sagarika like, uh, hey, punjabi wo hadn- sagarika naam nahi hai sagarika sagarika lalu lalu as in fred lalu yes that's true <laughs> yeah uh, sagarika had said that uh, she wasn't fully aware of the story but as a sagarika it's correct yeah yeah sagarika said yeah, that yeah. she's not fully aware <laughs> of the story but really you're going to you're going to get a little bit of a twist when you have to say this name with anybody that's else that's true it's always going to come yeah, in your head true. oh what we got oh. yeah so god <laughs> but she had said that uh, she really appreciated the way the zomato ceo was handling the whole thing uh, the ceo's name is uh, goyal something dipinder goyal dipinder goyal yeah dipinder goyal and uh, the way he was handling it is he has been supporting uh, the legal expenses of the the so woman who is the accuser open. he kept it open yeah, and say, of the no, yeah. of of the delivery guy yeah yeah so that uh, so anyway like after after this uh, this video comes out of hitesha's and goes viral uh, people start like first at first uh, uh, calling out zomato what is this what is this rubbish what, you guys you can't just do this what what kind of delivery people are hiring then it comes out that delivery person came forward uh, who has been a, a, a stellar employee for the last 26 months with them he has a 4.7 rating on zomato and he comes out and he's this little meek fellow poor guy who's like actually scared about going to jail and he comes forward with this story saying ki no I was just a little late with the order. She wanted, demanded a free order, and since I could not give her a free order, she started making a big fuss about it. And in the scuffle, she hit herself, like basically, like he, like basically, he's saying like, uh, while he was defending himself. Yeah, he was, was defending getting, himself. Yeah. And her ring finger hit herself in the nose, basically, like when you're like pulling, you know, that happens. That's what his excuse was. And uh, I actually think, in my opinion, I think the Zomato guy, the delivery guy, is telling the truth in this situation. but uh, what do you guys think of the whole thing yeah or, or maybe there's some middle part we are not exploring where there was a bit of a scuffle he did try to defend himself his hand may have hit her but he was more on the defense than, than on as he says than on the attack because uh, you know if somebody starts hitting you girl or boy you're going to defend yourself uh, you know once that happens yeah. so the, who's yeah. the aggressor would be the key aggressor who correct. started the fight yeah. rather than what happened secondly if she raised the hand so, first then you know i mean it's tough as a lawyer for me to defend her though i will because she's a woman culture and we have a 10% defense she's a woman here. but she's an influencer yeah. and i'm sorry but that breed of people i tend not to trust what they take on that okay i'm sorry <laughs> now, you know so we're not racist <laughs> and we like women in men of color we're influencers <laughs> like an influencer i hate them as a judge you never do judge. anything for publicity and I, i'm sorry okay as laughing when amit said you know this poor meek zomato guy amit people tell i'm sure he's not at fault okay i genuinely believe him but people tend to take a a, a very set version of them online for for uh, virality okay so let's let's leave that aside my my basic issue with this is i would never think of not paying for a meal that arrives slightly late i would like zomato and everyone to remove that rule it's just not right stressing out a really? delivery guy really it's yeah. disgusting it's disgusting why 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 would you do that you know somebody why would you say oh you didn't come two minutes late oh, i'm not paying i make sure kunal pays for all my meals on time <laughs> whatever happens in terms of delivery kunal have you ever have you ever not paid who's the guest the guest is i can't talk to you we can't have separate conversations on life please go away and first you put your clothes on uh, sorry i have a naked man 57 years old and it's taking him 15 nah, minutes to remove, remove his clothes i follow on instagram follow who? Kunal. Who, Kunal? yeah you better follow fast his face is becoming bigger than instagram they'll have to find a second model to put it in uh. Okay, let's get back. Let's not segue. But you, you, so let me ask you this question, right? Do you think that uh, you you know what's weird about this is that it's such a simple story. Person comes, vendor has come to somebody's house, right? Uh, there is a scuffle at that point in time of some nature. Somebody gets uh, somebody gets hurt a little bit. 
why does again I, I you know to repeat the royal conversation again to a certain extent why does anybody give a shit about this why do we care about this right i mean like i'm sorry but this is not well, even like this doesn't even fall into the, the royal family is a race issue if anything and this is a class issue if anything. it's, it's fall into different depth, yeah. uh, layers of but, uh, you know but the, the, it's kind of you... like that jassi smollett thing you know the jassi smollett thing where no, he but, had, uh, like, uh, uh, i like a false story about... Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, Antrikshah. Uh, I hear no, no, saying... I don't think it's a. Uh, sorry, it's a, not an out and out false story. Something happened. No, no, not. But uh, it un... seems like that. It seems like that. at this point, to me, it seems like she, like basically, just uh, made up, fabricated a, 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 so, a believable kind of story. It's like from Unni, she go to B, so from Unni, she go to Charlie's. It's like that. Okay, but something uh, uh, happened. Uh, okay, okay. It's no, like something happened. happened. But uh, so here's the thing, right? Uh, sorry to come back to the kind of this, right? Why do people care about this? Which I think is really interesting, right? Because this stuff happens all the time day in and day out you think when a local store sends somebody to their house to delivery the number of deliveries that happen every day you telling me this thing doesn't happen all the time it okay that's interesting <laughs> i'm sorry uh, because uh, <laughs> in case there's nothing funny happening for 5 minutes i, I let me look stupid I just, uh, okay my mother's glasses will just break the mold for a minute as we investigate the zomato case uh, no it, but but that's exactly that's exactly it that's why people care because it's the zomato case Not, Otherwise, because this woman took the the video viral, okay, and now she's kind of telling the world. By the way, someone mentioned uh, comments that her follower count went up from twenty k to seventy six k post. Uh, okay, so she, everybody knows her name. Her, yeah, her, that's her, true. Her whole name. She's like Virat Kohli. You know who yeah. she is. You know <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. It's, it's a huge investment in PR, if you ask me. Ah, well, PR is not right word for popular. You can't use. Uh, you can't. You can't direct a mob against a, a delivery boy just because you want more followers. Yeah, yeah, look at us. We are taking sides here. So obviously, this whole story is uh, it's more layered than people think. I mean, why do we care? I mean, it says you shouldn't care, but why do we care? I'm telling you, we care because it became a class issue, and we all I, want to think. Rich people want to think that they're very, you know, socially just, and want to show that no, this woman has bullied this poor guy. He's working so hard. He looks small, and you know, all put all these factors together, and a prejudice is created one way or the other. And you think in a certain way, and you say, okay, let's now take the side in Karab Zindabad kind of thing. Well, the thing is, uh, she had a lot more uh, weightage on her side because she's the influencer. Initially, she's got a following. Initially. and then she 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 bullies him online okay um i would take his side as a default because i don't like this kind of behavior no it's also it appears that she's made up stuff and you know appearing like that but we can't that's not very clear but it looks like she's manipulated the situation yeah. for her benefit But then, well, Abit, you decide. She, she would, right? I mean, like, why wouldn't she? She is trying to tell a story. That guy is trying to tell a story. I get that, right? To me, the 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 thing that I just find so uh, fascinating about this is the reason we care about this stuff is because, again, she is an influencer. Because uh, the this will be uh, uh, because she's an influencer. Because Zomato is involved, which is a multi-billion-dollar company, who's coming to our house every day. and we all see some some kind of uh, you know uh, possibility that hey uh, there's some panic involved in that as well right that all of our behaviors are changing it's just a really kind of weird mix of things right i don't understand but uh, i i always with the delivery boys I always have a little fun i always make them taste the food and stuff you know i'm like just to okay. be on the safe side yeah i'm like i have a bite here my vegetarian boy said don't care just take a bite <laughs> and you know we'll pray twice for you and it'll all go away so did I, you hear about know. the woman who is suing uh, dominos for 100 crores because oh, wow. uh, <laughs> no because she is from up and she is some uh, some super brahmin and they sent her a non vegetarian pizza by oh, mistake oh yes i read this correct 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 yeah but 100 uh, crores for your cost uh, some some something yeah. ridiculous like that yeah she's like I mean, yeah you polluted cross, my I'll, i'll drop my cost dude she said that i have polluted my entire body because you have put uh, meat inside of me i mean not exactly that but she said something like that so if you think you should take her life no she'll take 100 no. crores right okay. yeah Those are the two options. <laughs> uh, but but again, it's possible she, she gets some thing. But what an ego! Hundred crores for life. Well, who says your life huh? is worth hundred crores? And, and for what? For a mistake? For 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 uh, for for mistaking yeah. vegetarian food for non-vegetarian food? Yes. You're supposed to get like that kind of a thing. I'm sorry, they they were willing to. That's what no no hundred crores is too much. But pizza from Zomato. That's, that's what they no so that's what Domino's offered her. They said they will send you a will, will yeah. send you a replacement uh, free of cost and we'll, I I think they offered uh, you know will double the replacement or whatever. But she's like no I want money now and so then the guy was like okay let me send you to the lawyers. But I it, it's you know it's it, it's all it, it's just, it's just a uh, I, I, I I find it I find the number just wrong. I mean how 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 do you overvalue yourself so much? Oh my I've lost my cost so now hundred crores your cost is over hundred crores. Yeah. Cost should be abolished. 
you should be paying 100 crores to talk about it. It's rubbish. Yeah. I'm on uh, this case. I'm in, on Domino's side. Uh, I'm 100 percent on Domino's side. That heavy I, 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 Yeah, I can't Why stand can't the picture either. In our area, they don't give you the thin crust option, I Amit, mean, and we all look like you and me. What are you we talking about? Thin crust. You get the thin. Do you get the thin no. crust? No, the guy says he only has hard crust. Or whatever. What's it called? Dude, crust, order so. online, so, please. Stop calling vulgar. people. Can I can I take a controversial point of view? Yes. Ha, huh, please. Okay. I'm a non-vegetarian. But how dare you come on our show? Okay, go on. Go on with your point. But let's say I went to Thailand and someone sent me a, I don't know, grasshopper pizza or something that I don't eat. And yes. I took a bite out of it uh, unknowingly. Uh, okay. I would definitely feel disgusted, uh, yeah. even though it's, it, it's not a religious thing in my head. But I, I, I believe that some compensation is due, not 100 crores. But uh, everything can't be just solved by replacing an order. No, this is so what do you want? You want the uh, Domino's then <laughs> outlet, all of them to take off their clothes and walk in shame? For no, I don't. Minutes? No, I don't. But uh, it should be addressed. It should be. Like it's not. It's what? not as small. Other than, thing. It's just a freaking pizza. The wrong order came. You gotta get the right order came. Oh, no, on. it's you have. I, I I understand how it feels to put something in your mouth which you're not used to. Okay, eating. let's let's not have this kind okay. of. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, let me get my glasses back on. I mean, let me hide my shame. <laughs> Please carry on, Kajal. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very frustrated so, at the moment. I, I feel that so I'm non-vegetarian, okay. But if they send me a veggie delight by mistake, I'm also charging them 100 crores, man. Like, oh, God damn it, veggie delight. What well, the goat yeah, is what? what? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, for sure. sure. Mm. They got to so, owe me. So you, <laughs> it, it, it's, you know, I mean, like, our, uh, the, the, you know, I mean, like, in some ways, it's just that we're seeing these companies with these kinds of huge balance sheets, and you know, this stuff is in the newspapers all the time, and we're just like, let's get some of it, right? It, hey, really Amit, feels like that. Amit, hmm. if she had one well, mom and pop shop who was making pizza in the neighborhood who are yeah. worth hardly anything, and the same thing happened, there's no hundred crores. Exactly. Yeah. It's only because it's exactly. Domino's, and let me pull a hundred crores out of them. It's like when yeah. you hit a kid while driving drunk. And then they come and say, pay 40,000 rupees. And that kid was so ugly. Oh, okay. That's not the right way of putting it. <laughs> that's you not know the right what way. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> it's all but then they say, extort you. You know, guys are really badly hurt. And next the crowd is beating you up and saying, pay money, pay money. Well, it doesn't make any sense. You'd rather leave the kid to hospital or to a doctor. That would be the right approach. Well, why am I paying money? So that extorting bit, uh, it, it belies the entire concept. You see, they lose the higher ground when you ask for too much money. Till then, I'm with you. Oh, I'm feeling violated and all this nonsense. Okay, fine. I, I actually, I'm not that either, right? I, I understand the. Uh, I understand that you know you have been uh, something which you didn't want to, to okay. occur okay. occurred, right? But at the same time, come on. I mean, like, get over yourselves, right? It's let just, the punishment. Like, let me put it this way: let the punishment fit the crime. It's a proportionate issue here. You can't talk to me about hundred crores and destroy Domino's company and this and that. It's a genuine mistake. It could happen. It's horrible that it happened. They'll apologize. They will get a slap on the uh, wrist and move on. Yeah, but I, I, I agreed. I mean, like, you know, and, it's and a if mistake, I have a grasshopper mistake. pizza in bloody Vietnam and by mistake I eat the grasshopper, yes, I'm a little upset because I'm an animal lover too. And secondly, because grasshoppers are dangerous. <laughs> so I'm told that I don't know. <laughs> but uh, what should I do? I can close them down because of that. It's just a small mistake. Yeah, I mean, mistake I, I happened. That's with the a, point. With a non female by mistake once. And, you know, okay, I didn't. I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> Let's take a break before I say anything more. <laughs> All right, we'll come back and answer questions. Kajal, you have to tell me more about your life. I need to know more. A very uh, interesting person. And lots of double entendre, which is not good for my waiting heart <laughs> at my age. Where's my heart pills? Here they are. All right, we'll take a break. And we're back uh, after the, the break with uh, Silvery, who looks yes. like he's really serious. You look like a panelist on Ornob show at the moment. You know, you know, try to talk, but you don't know when to start. <laughs> yeah, they, they look harrowed, some of them. No? They're like, just... Hand up, yeah. hand up. <laughs> yes. Yes, very true. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get to the AMAs. Uh, the first okay. one comes in from uh, Rithik Rawat. There's one cricket related. So I thought we should just get get the get it out of the way, Cyrus. Comes in from Rithik Rawat. He says, "What does Cyrus think about dropping Surya Kumar in third T20 after making his debut in second T20 without even letting him play?" Absolute rubbish. Really unfair. The kids waited. Kid, he's 30. You get a debut and then you give him just one game and then drop bench him again. Uh, well, ask Amit to draw an analogy with or another parallel with uh, NB or anything else. You got to give people opportunity. It cannot be one game in any sport. Opportunity is opportunity. It's a package. So the guy feels okay. I did. I got a chance. And it didn't go well. And now, you know, that's it. So I just, uh, now they probably play him one game here, one game there. It's horrible. From a cricketing experience, it's horrible. I can tell you as an under-15 cricketer for my uh, girls building girls team, I was also dropped for no reason. 
uh, one that I refused to wear the bikini and bat. I thought that was like not necessary <laughs> just for the sponsor. But uh, what do you think, uh, Amit? In any sport, uh, yeah, you can't you just give just... a half opportunity and expect the guy to just perform. No, you need it. If you're going to do it, you need to do it. If you're going to let somebody play, you need to give them. I was watching a game this morning, right? Sixers game. And uh, there's a good player who's a young player. And there's an older player who's more well-known. And they keep giving minutes to that older player. And I'm just like, why are you not playing the young guy? And if you're going to play him, don't play him for like two minutes at a time. Give him like an eight-minute stretch, right? So that he can also get his legs under him, right? I mean, it, it, it absolutely is. People need that. Yeah, and also, the, the guy has to know that he's given an opportunity. So he won't sit there yeah. bitter for the rest of his life. It's I can't believe that I'm mentioning Furkan Korkmaz on this. Uh, Furkan Korkmaz on this. That's his name. Uh, Furkan Korkmaz. Furkan? The, you Furkan Korkmaz. You Furkan. <laughs> you Furkan. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, I can't believe that I'm actually mentioning him on a podcast. Kajal, podcast. do you like men with beards? Uh, not really. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved me. It's gone. <laughs> Tell me, you suck. You got a beard. Suck. Okay, uh, next one comes in from uh, Kashin Shetty, regular contributor. Hi again, Kashin. How are you doing? Uh, we should do an episode with just uh, audience, uh, like fans, regulars, you know, which that'll be like a fun thing. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one comes from Kashin. Oh. Yeah, he says, Hi, Cyrus. Uh, the mosquito population has exploded in Prabha Devi. How is yeah. Kunal, uh, sorry, how is Kunal handling this menace? I place Kapoor, uh, that is camphor, in a bowl of uh, water. As it dissolves, the smell keeps them at bay. So what is Kunal doing? See, I'll, I've never said nice things about Kunal. So I'm going to change that today. I'm going to say something nice. Kunal, because of his weight gain of 25 kilos in lockdown while people are dying, uh, he has developed skin like uh, the thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> so no mosquito can actually break through, male or female. They'll, they'll just get there and die. And die quickly. So for him, it's just, you know, literally water of a duck's back to take more animal analogies and confuse people. So he's safe from the mosquito. I myself, uh, as an animal lover, I've never, my wife goes, kill, 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 kill the cockroach, kill the mosquito, uh, shoo the pigeon, hurt the pigeon. I say no, I will not. I, of course, don't say it in front of my wife because I'm a mosquito myself. I just go outside and say it. But yeah. <laughs> Kajal, you're not saying anything. You're a mosquito person. You make uh, lots of Indian men who look like mosquitoes. Okay, so my blood group doesn't excite mosquitoes. Okay, O positive blood is not their preferred uh, blood type. Rejected by a mosquito. Rejected by a mosquito. I mean, how does that feel, brother? How does that feel? <laughs> it's pretty good. You can't uh, even land a mosquito, Kajal. How am I going to get married? <laughs> oh my God. Where do we start, Gopali? Look at the situation. Is yeah. that true? O positive doesn't get, uh, because my kids are O positive. Yeah, so they love B positive. Okay, so if there's somehow ah, someone who's B positive, you're AB positive? Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a rare blood group. I, I'll probably die if I need blood. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquito will be the only one who will donate. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's actually moment. really interesting to know. I didn't know that. That uh, mosquitoes have preferences in terms of... Well, I guess everybody has They're racist. Preferences. Like I mean, They're racist yeah. too. Why do you bring the royal family? There's bloody mosquitoes. Hey, too black. Hey, too white. Hey, so if a mosquito is expecting B positive and he gets uh, O positive, is he going to sue the person who gave yes. him the wrong blood group? He can tell but... before he sucks. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that was not a double L. <laughs> You're not allowed on my show. You're not allowed on my show. Okay, blacklist. Blacklist now. Put your down on the blacklist. I have so many people and they held back. Silvery is held back. He wants to say sexual things all the time. That's nonsense. Why are you beating fast? I get, I get, I get, you know, turned on. You, you titillate me with you talk <laughs> like that. You don't know what it's like to be my age group. Gopal is like, Gopal, put your pants on. Oh, God, you God, going crazy here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, conversation. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next one. Uh, Kashin asks one more question. This one is for Kajol. He says, hi, Kajol. As a child, I was considered a crybaby and I still cry proudly when the moment is right. What's your take on men crying? Is it a sign of weakness or is it being true to your emotions? It depends on why they're crying. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I know I know the woke answer <laughs> saying that they can cry whenever they want. But the thing is, even I don't cry whenever I want in public. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't want them crying over a pizza. But <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a non-vegetarian pizza when he's expecting a vegetarian pizza? Can he cry? Then? Then don't cry, don't cry. Okay. I I prefer to suit the company rather than cry. Either way, you'll cry if it's very spicy. Uh, I'll tell you honestly, I know people who are crying since 2014, but I won't oh. name them. Um, yeah. So I think your point is well made because I tend to cry to, uh, about things which don't affect anyone. 
like movies and things like that. And my wife laughs and my daughter takes pictures. But I don't cry when people die and all that. I, I don't feel anything. No empathy. So they say, oh, so-and-so died. What a horrible death. And I'm like, yeah, okay, can I just watch the game? So it all depends on the person, right? Amit? Are you okay? Yeah, I would agree. I, uh, no, I don't think so. I, I Like not, uh, you know, surprisingly enough, it's a similar kind of thing there, right? Or not surprising, I guess. But uh, I don't, cry in like real life situations yeah. uh, but when I'm watching a movie or if I'm watching yeah. a TV show and yeah. it gets overly emotional, a tear might drop down. So our empathy is for fiction empathy yes. is for good art <laughs> <laughs> pleasing, the lighting correct. It's like cry because Mr. Sharma died. It just doesn't work. You, you doesn't need work. the emotions to be manipulated like manipulated. properly. Music in the background. Yeah. Proper, right. proper manipulation needs to I'm occur, with right? You. I'm with you. Earn yeah. your right. emotions. Yes. 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 <laughs> Silvani, what's yours? Your take? Okay. Oh, I uh, again mostly cry in movies. Uh, I have cried. What's wrong with us? <laughs> I have cried though recently. It's just uh, when the girlfriend left. Yeah, yeah, when the girlfriend left, I was a little sad. Uh, but I don't know why we keep talking about this. So no, I don't. But that's acceptable. Yeah, no, that yes. most men will oh, cry over a breakup. I I can understand that. I'll let that go. Okay. Yeah. But do you cool. cry yes, if yes. you miss the urinal and all that? I have cried once, <laughs> like while peeing and I peed out. I was so angry and then tears come out and you know I feel like just get so angry. Yeah. Also, you're not married. So if you're married, you cry a lot. There are so many reasons. Uh, I, I, I mean, think uh, whiskey accelerates crying as well. Alcohol, yes. Uh, no, yeah. not alcohol. Whiskey specifically. I feel why like whiskey. whiskey I, I don't know why. Yeah, racism. Like, whiskey, not vodka. How dare no, you? but I think whiskey kind of. Uh, I I feel like whiskey, at least to me, affects me in a way where you get like more uh, loud with your emotions. I think if I had to pay for the whiskey, I could see tears. But otherwise, uh, I'd be okay. Yeah. Sometimes well, you know okay. we'd be drinking in the club, and the bill is one thing, and then we go to these nightclubs and. I mean, 455 rupees for half Dude, a vodka. And- I went out for a drink, okay, uh, this yeah. uh, last Saturday. I met somebody yeah. for lunch and we had a drink at the restaurant we were at. I'm not going to name the restaurant because the owners are friends. Yeah. Dude, it's freaking, it's expensive to drink outside. Like, so what did you drink? Just tell me that because I have no idea. I had a uh, I had a tankere with uh, soda and, uh, a bar- and tonic, right? Like, so gin, cost? soda, and tonic. How it much? was uh, the gin was eight hundred bucks, like for Large. a small, huh? Eight hundred oh, rupees wow. for a small tanker, eh? uh, so one hundred and fifty bucks for the uh, for the tonic, and I don't know what the soda cost. But like basically, I I, I, I use the to- soda, I, I use the tonic over two drinks. But basically, you guys go grand after the government about inflation drinks. and this and that, and restaurants are killing us like this. I know they've suffered, but what is this thousand bucks of gin shot? Half I, I, I I was astounded, right? I'm like, because uh, I but, uh, I started just a drinking. Fancy restaurant, though, right? It's not that fancy a restaurant. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's fancy, know? but not five star fancy. So yeah, that's it's not that oh, okay. fancy, right? Uh, it's okay. like you know. So he wants to have four or five drinks. He goes up five grand. That's a little yeah. too much. So and four or five grand for a night out is acceptable. I, I mean, sorry, an, four or five an, drinks for a night out. Yeah, an, an entree is five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred rupees, right? In that range. Oh, so. Yeah. In that kind of this, where you're looking at a drink being more expensive than the entree, I was just like, dude, this is nuts. God, imagine if you're on a date, you have to pay double and then you don't even get anything. I know. I, I wound up paying, it wasn't a date, it was a, a work lunch, but I I, want, I had to pay for you both pay of for our both. drinks. And yeah. parking, I presume. And, you know, I mean, there's, there's uh, Uber. Uber, but you pay parking. for the freaking Uber, nothing is free. I had to pay for the Uber, that is free. true. Yeah, that is true. Unless you to take a cycle Uber. to the date. Yeah, no, 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 seriously, it was, Man, a, it was a work. You sell your car after the date, huh? It was it was a work lunch, and it cost me something like four grand. I mean, like that's nuts. It's and and it's again. not again. I'm not taking somebody to the Taj. I'm taking them to like you know. It's a nice place. It's not a. It's yeah, not. Yeah. It's it's not a bad place. It's a nice place, but you know, it's not that. I mean, I, I couldn't believe the alcohol. I pricing. couldn't date in today's uh, generation. I just couldn't date. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to handle it. I, I'd be so distracted. We should be eating. I'll be counting in my head. It'll be like, oh, uh, you want to have the prawn? Oh, <laughs> a, you'll fall out of love in five minutes. You'll be like, dessert? What do you okay, well, I have another problem. So I don't drink, okay? And when I go out with friends and they are drinking, it's you terribly awkward. No, it's terribly awkward when the bill comes right. to say, can we just pay for what we had? The, the, the spread is equal. Yeah. Because it's, it's not, not equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not paying for that booze. Yeah. It's a big no, one. So, we always had that one non drinker or whatever, or, you know, whatever. How do you justify that? The, no, so, what style, me and bills? my friends. Well, this is what me and my friends do is basically alcohol is uh, so alcohol bill comes separately in most of these restaurants, right? They give you a booze bill and they give you a food bill. So you split the bill separately because there are always a couple of people not drinking, right? 
So not fair to ask them to pay for the alcohol. So the but people what about the drinking... company? We have to sit through their freaking company while they don't drink. I that think is that true. point of view. But you're getting I, I, you know, you make a very good point. Everything. Yeah, you make a very good point. Wife, they're recording everything. It's not fair. <laughs> You make a point, man. I mean, like, yeah, it is painful. Why are you there? That's why I don't go to the bars now because I don't drink. I mean, I don't go to the bar and be that guy who stands around and stares at people and does nothing because he starts feeling left out with everybody else getting louder and louder and you know, yeah. the whole room getting intoxicated and he's the only guy going, hey, can you talk softly? You know, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Do you have a guy like that in your group? Sorry, so you I... are the guy that like that in your group these days, right? So, uh, sorry. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay, so you don't do that at all anymore. I don't go. I don't want to be that guy. I cannot be that yeah. guy. I abuse that guy all my life. It's like glasses. I just make fun of people with glasses all my life. In the last three years, God punishes you like this. So no one should know I have glasses. Okay, <laughs> and no one know. <laughs> Four eyes, can't see. How many fingers? The glasses you know, look good. How many fingers and all that? The crap. glasses look good. <laughs> what the hell, yar? Picture releases again. Sorry, Antrish, you were saying something when I interrupted no. you. No, no, nothing. I was asking what nothing. Cyrus uh, asked me. He asked something. I, I, uh, I was Nobody cares. That. Move on. No, okay. It's fine. Move on. Even our listeners are not paying attention now. <laughs> By now, they're all scratching or you know, playing with themselves. Things like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one comes in from. Uh, next question comes in from Abhik Ghosh. He says, uh, "What about Piers Morgan getting sad? While I do not agree with his views, he can't be fired for his views, can he? He wasn't fired. He this? quit. He quit. I don't like that. Guy. He quit. He, he just walked out. I, I don't yeah. like that guy." Yeah. Nobody uh, does. He, so, he, so, yeah. I've definitely seen people can get fired for their views, and I'm not going to uh, mention the name of a certain CM whose views were aired very publicly yesterday about women wearing. Oh, jeans. yeah, yes, yes. yeah, yeah. Something cannot be said. Rip, rip, rip jeans. Rip jeans. Like rip jeans. Yeah. But it was this the same Chaumin guy? Because there's something weird going on in Haryana. No, 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 it's no, all no, happening no, from no, Haryana, no, man. It, it's not. It's not Chaumin guy. <laughs> No. This is Uttarakhand. No. This is CM of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. It's oh, where okay. Gopal comes from. Yeah, the Gopal talks like that. Name is the the Tirat Singh Rawat. Yeah, uh, Tirat right. Singh uh, Rawat is the CM. I'm glad name. you didn't say the name, Kasi. Uh, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not to bring out the name. He knows. Now we'll give you other knows other other specifics. About. Please take down everybody. When you're traveling in Uttarakhand, <laughs> do not wear ripped jeans, male or female. It upsets the CM. He may rip them more. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make statements like that. You just can't. Okay? How can you become the chief minister? What kind of person becomes a chief minister and then makes a statement like that? I mean, who do we elect? Why? How? He's What's not really elected. He's been. Uh, he's been. He's a replacement, guy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but um, in one way or the other, he will be elected. He has to. Be. Uh, but it's really. It's just. What do you? How do you even answer this? So when I put out a. Oh, so yesterday, incidentally, my track pants ripped. Okay, while in the while I was in the gym, it was quite embarrassing. But yeah. I put a picture of that. And Again, it's a little <laughs> titillating for me. So just give me a second. My <laughs> because, you know, I don't know. It oh, happened yo. while I was doing squats. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> and my face, I'm really sweating. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Visual imagery is too much, Kajal. Please stop. An old man. Oh, face maker. Bolo, I'm not it. So when I put up a picture and, of course, made some sarcastic comments. Uh, I had people in comments saying, but at least he's not doing things like another CM of uh, 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 a saffron wearing CM of another state. Okay. Uh, at least he's just making these statements. But it, those are men making those statements because when it comes to that being a woman, you, you can't hear such stuff coming out of mouths of men in power because it just influences a lot of other men who've been thinking these things but not saying it. it and in 2021, you can't say it. Scan those men. Hate them. They spoil our name completely always with their stupidity and the, and the fact that they're just so medieval in their thinking and then, and then nobody calls them out for it and they go up the ladder, corporate ladder or political ladder or whatever and become the apex point there. And you're thinking, how, why? The mother should have slapped them senselessly. Why didn't the mother slap them senselessly and say, you're a buffoon? You better not make stupid comments. It's just stupid. It's, forget Megan and the racism there. We've got our own problems here. Let's just stay here now. Mm. Who's going to well, solve we this? We keep up? going into this kind of stuff over and over again, right? Because this stuff what? happens this all the like time. Donald Trump, you know, you who you're head of state, you're head of a state. You can't talk like that. You're, you're not a comedian. On what the who, who are you? I, I don't even understand how uh, who is the constituency that they are speaking to, which thinks that this is. Uh, uh, and a, I, I don't even understand who they're trying to like kind of uh, because again you're saying this with the obvious intention of increasing your own profile or having people yeah. say that you you're, right, you're right you're right you're right Amit, Amit like in Bombay that. in Bombay in a very posh uh, club I was yeah. asked to step down from stage in our performance uh, by a gentleman who was an advocate in the high court 
because he didn't like the fact that I was wearing a dress. So this this kind of thinking is all over the place. Okay. You stepped down. Ah, uh, he he came onto my stage, and the event manager did not come forward and support me. So I was like, yeah, I'm stepping down. If you're gonna, if if I, if my life is at risk here, then yeah, I'm I'm leaving. Wow! What gives him the right? I mean, if you're naked, also you can say. Shame the club. Shame, Kaja. You should name shame and name and shame the club. Name and shame the person. Yeah, name them, man. Because this is nonsense. I I mean, like that somebody would do this is ridiculous. And nobody stopped him. Who else was there? So the 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 the. Okay, so it was a Valentine's Day event for senior citizens. Okay, please uh, do not judge me for performing at that. It was a no, no, that's fine. To begin with. I've done puppet uh, shows for four-year-old children. I wanted to punch. Uh, <laughs> but no, one second. The, the rest of the audience was fine. The rest of the audience was fine. But this guy had issues. He had issues with discipline. It's not the rest general. of the audience's problem. If they don't like it, they can leave. They he can't tell you to get off stage. This is the but, show. But my point is that men don't realize how prevalent this attitude. In in people's minds, who's mind the guy? Like You're right. What's the name of the guy? I don't remember. Some advocate in high court, which he made an effort to tell oh, me. Well, I'm an advocate in this now high court, and you know. But I'm just saying. And that, this is the brief he wanted to bring up to the high court. Your dress, you know. Yes. <laughs> and the way things are going in court, that may not be so far off. But could you, yeah. Could you, Kajal, so I being this, an advocate this. in high court is like being an IIT person, right? You just need to, uh, yeah, like, you know, they ask that yeah. question, right? How do you know someone's from IIT? How do you know someone's yeah. an advocate in the high court? Yeah, just yeah. be quiet for thirty <laughs> seconds; they'll tell you. It's the same. Yeah, kind I just, of can thing, I, right? can I, I, and I'm saying this with all sensitivity, and please don't get angry. Can you wear that dress for us right now, so I could be the judge? <laughs> I'm a LLB from a very lower court. I don't know, Cyrus. You might start taking up drugs after that. So. How sad! I, I, I oh God, I what kind of event manager? I mean, spineless guy, really. I mean, honestly. No, see, these things happen. Ah, uh, any women in the city would know that you tend to be judged, or if people are given an opportunity, they would say something. Okay, and it comes from men and women. Um, it's just the way things are. So then, in that scenario, you can't have a CM going or live making these statements. We have to have a ripped jeans parade. Everyone in the country must wear ripped jeans for twenty-four hours and no top. Okay, top optional. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm going somewhere else. This movement is already <laughs> the morality will be questioned. Oh. Okay, we have to end because I have to work. So the last one quickly. Oh shit, okay. ten fifty two. Can we just end? Oh, quick, quick, okay, quick, sure. quick, quick. Talk, talk, man, uh, talk, sure, sure. talk. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna try to find going, a good uh, one. Uh, uh, Wait, can I? Is, okay, yeah. Let's so try to find a good one. I don't know a good one. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Okay, got it. This one comes in from Tarun Arora. He says, uh, "What do you think about our chances in today's match and the WT20 uh, later this year?" Well, first and foremost, whoever bats first is definitely going to lose. That's the pattern in T20s in India. Um, but I do think we'll be experimenting today, so we may have a problem. We might be replacing three for three or something like that. Uh, Kajal doesn't want to answer this question. I know she told me off camera. I would I rather not discuss the burping contest. I mean, oh, well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or I wear the dress and go to the advocate's house. Huh? Yeah. Put it. <laughs> okay. And uh, the the World World Cup. It's a long way off. Still, October is a long way off. Let's see what happens with this COVID and COVID. I don't know how many foreign teams are going to come here and collect and all that if this thing doesn't go away. So, Amit, can you do something about COVID? Because I don't want to lose work. I've got a lot of work yeah. at the moment. Thank God. Let uh, me let me solve it. I'll, I'll get yeah. on it. It'll be done. It'll be done. Next oh, you 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 you're not that Amit. Oh, sorry, sorry. So yeah. Just uh, <laughs> sorry. I. I... Um, the fashion shirt. No, I wasn't. I, 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 I do have the right shirt. You're right. I do have the right color <laughs> T-shirt for that. <laughs> All right. So, Kajal, next time you will wear the dress. So, whatever happens, we're going to get lots of people writing in. How much of it will you see? How much judge? of it will you see? You can just do a little thing. I will be us. wearing it right now. Can you stand up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me go below. <laughs> I apologize. Don't send us letters. All right, that's all we have time for. Kajal, oh. thank you. Sorry, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, Kajal please, wanted yeah. to. Uh, Kajal wanted to plug something. Uh, she has a okay. few shows coming up. Yeah, uh, on Saturday at six o'clock at Cat Cafe in Andheri, I'm doing my comedy special for one hour. Uh, the tickets are on Book My Show and Insider. And could you please come? It's going to be really fun. Just say the place again. A cat cafe. Cat It's cafe. It's a place with cats walking around. Yeah. 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 Six six p.m. Saturday. Yeah. Okay. If it wasn't on Delhi, I'd have been there. Come now. <laughs> I'll just come back from Mad Island to go in that direction again. Firstly, <laughs> if you must know, I I start feeling a lot of pain in my uh, anal area because of the pressure. 
and I get, I've got a little bit of piles and all that. I can't do these two hour drives, you know, and then I'm adjusting like this all the time. And you didn't want to know, right? So we shouldn't have discussed. All right. We'll see you soon. We'll see you at your show. <laughs> Go watch Kajal's show, everybody. 6 p.m. Saturday at Cat Cafe Andheri. Bye-bye. Yeah.